Hey guys, it's Tanache. So, at this point, it looks like I'm preparing myself to make a video about why you shouldn't dye your hair or watch this before you dye your hair because your hair will get messed up video because <laughs> I decided to dye my hair again. If you're new to my channel, just remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Um, okay, so here's the thing. The last couple of videos, I think I've shared with you guys the uh, process of me dyeing my hair or trying to achieve my desired hair color. I've never actually shared with you what the desired color is. So maybe I'll insert a picture here. But... <laughs> Clearly it's not worked. So I started with Hina, then I went on to use box dye number one, which was a dark and lovely one, and then I used, which was six months ago I think, box dye number two, which was the Clairol dye. None of them have done anything for my hair. What actually helped lighten my hair was when I used Color Oops, which is actually like a color lifter, and in many ways I kind of wish I would just stuck to that color, but I didn't. I decided to dye my hair and this is what happened at that point. Now obviously you can see that I do have some color in my hair but it's not at all the auburn color or coppery color that I want and so yeah. In this video I am going to be using this infamous high colors L'Oreal hot colors in the color copper. I bought a set of these it came with three they're not that big this is uh, 1.2 ounces so pretty much less than the size of my hand. I have developer. I just got this from my beauty supplies shop. And I also have this Cajun Adore uh, hair color. The videos that I've watched, people tend to use both the copper and this. So they start with this and then they go in with uh, the Cajun. So I'm not sure that I'm gonna use this today. But if this goes well, keyword if this goes well then I think the next time I refresh my color I'm going to use Cajun to kind of spruce it up. I have a set of gloves, a bowl. I don't have one of those fancy professional ones so I'm just using a glass bowl. I have a measuring cup because I'm so paranoid about getting this wrong and a shower cap. I've also lined my floor with newspaper because I do not want to mess up our bathroom floor. But anyway, Without further ado, I'm just going to start the process. finished mixing the hair color but a few things it smells horrible I was actually wearing a mask the entire time I'm just taking it off because I have no other way of uh, putting the color in my hair without being weird about it and then the other thing is that that bowl was too small uh, for all the color that I bought I probably should have only mixed two but we'll see um, yeah so I'm gonna just start the process and hopefully this goes okay. color is all in the hair. I initially thought I had too much color but it turns out that it was just fine. I still have this much left. I'm keeping this for my roots. Like I might open this in about 10 minutes because I, I'm so nervous that's why. So depending on how when my hair looks like it's getting lighter then I'm gonna add the other color so that I don't keep it in for too long on my roots. It's looking like 
like my hair is getting lighter, but I'm not 100% sure. I think it is, but... I think it's definitely getting lighter, you guys. Oh my god. I'm nervous. I think I'm going to have a problem here. Like, it over bleached my edges, so I'm not even sure what to do about that. Okay, I'm going to take this hair color out because I think my roots are going to be too orange and I'm not happy about that. Ugh. Like the locks don't look fully colored, like this doesn't look as light as this. So, and I don't want to keep it in for too long. I don't know how long other girls kept this in their hair. I'm just going to keep it in for a few more minutes and then wash it out. But I'm not going to wear a cap. The roots are disaster, I can already tell like this oh no <sighs> okay so <laughs> I deliberately didn't look at myself in the mirror because I want to see it together <gasps> okay oh yeah this <sighs> man I have hot roots, but the color is definitely there. I don't know if that's real. Okay, my roots are ridiculously red. I think I'm gonna give it some time before I go in with the Cajun spice, but I think let's just call this a wrap. Like I'm gonna go take a proper shower so that I wash all the the conditioner out. But it looks good to me. I could live with that. But yeah, this. Ugh. Maybe if I retighten my hair, it won't look as bad. Okay, I'm gonna take a shower and then I'll come back once I've completely washed everything out of my hair. Okay, so this is what the final color looks like. <laughs> you guys, my hair is colored. I'm really loving it, you guys. <laughs> of course, my roots are super, super hot. But, but, I initially wanted to just go in with a Cajun spice to kind of tone them down um, and I still might do like a rinse of some sort to just tone it down if it still looks this weird in a day or two but I realized that I'm going to be retightening my hair so I'm just going to wait and see what that looks like because I think I might actually like the the look of this once my new growth grows out so having that sort of ombre sort of effect um, but yeah, I could be wrong, but in terms of the actual locks, the full locks are colored and I am so happy about this, but, um, but yeah, this is it. <laughs> Third time's the charm. Yeah, let me know what you guys think and tell me everything that I did wrong. I already know that I shouldn't have put my, um, my roots as early as I did or suddenly I shouldn't have left it longer than five minutes even um, and I'll know that for next time let me know what you guys think in terms of my process and what I could do better next time because this is obviously my first time doing this and it's actually kind of fun but scary <laughs> um, and now I just have to really really give my hair lots of love because I've taken it through a lot and I'm surprised that it's still on my head to be honest if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Bye!